must be Caroline, is that right? Yes, that's right. Thank you so much for this opportunity. Welcome! I'm so happy to actually finally meet you. That is so incredible. Just come on in. It's so happy to meet you as well. I'll follow you, I guess. Oh. Thank you so much for coming. I'm actually really impressed by your resume here. So it's gonna be a couple of questions, nothing hard, nothing too difficult. Go through everything. Not gonna be a you know, couple of like 20, 30 minutes. So just to get to know you a little bit better. Yeah. Thank you so much for this opportunity. You studied in finance. Yes, I've studied in finance. Got a pretty much a good experience. It was time for me to actually start working with you. So like your company mindset and everything about it. I think I'm pretty much like really ready for that kind of job and role so uh, you know i'm ready for it okay that's actually really nice um, yes i think we covered that we covered that as well i mean i guess the last question just to get to know you a little bit better oh yes no problem go ahead <laughs> i'm an open book so yeah I see that uh, you actually studied elsewhere so where are you from originally oh i'm actually from cameron in uh, central africa i've been here for a couple of years but i'm originally from uh, yes africa oh cameron africa yes so cool. I have actually a couple of friends from there. Mm. Such a nice country. I mean, I love Africa. I love African people. Ah, actually, really glad to like get to know you better. You know. Ah, ah. Um. Oh my God, that's that's really cool. Yeah. Um. <laughs> no. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Thank you so much for the lunch today, for inviting me out. Thank you so much again for all of that. You're more than welcome, my dear. I mean, it's your first day, so of course I mean, love my first day. Like the food? Yes, I really enjoyed it. It's really good. It's really, really good. I'm like super full, but it was good. It was good. That's cool. That that's really good. I'm curious about like your country and your you know Africa. Do you guys I speak any language? Any like do you speak like Cameroonian, like African? Yeah. Uh, African Cameroonian. We do speak French <laughs> and English. But really nothing such as Cameroonian. Um, oh okay okay speaking. No, African speaking doesn't really exist, you know. It's like multiple countries, multiple languages, multiple dialects. Oh, that's cool. That's cool. But I'm sure you must like know each other because I see a guy that I know is from I think Senegal. You must know him. No, you never heard of him. Senegal from Gabon. I'm really like pretty convinced that you guys like know each other because you are from Africa, you know? Oh, don't know him. Never heard of. I'm gonna get back at work, you know? Talk to you later. <laughs> Bye. Oh, hello! What can I do for you for today? Hey, can I get a hot chocolate, please? Thank you. What a hot chocolate. It's gonna take like a couple of minutes and I'm gonna give it to you now. Is, it, is that okay for you? Yes. Oh, great. Well, let me get to it then. So where are you from? I'm actually from Cameroon, Central Africa. Been here for a couple of years. My parents live there. And are you from Cameroon? Oh my, in Africa, that is so cool. Really, you're so pretty. You're so pretty for an African girl. Unbelievable. You have such a pretty face. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much for these compliments. Like you are incredibly pretty, so I mean, not you. No, so, I mean, I'm so curious, like about like Africa. Never been there, really. Have you got to see any like lions or anything like that? Or that you actually guys like live almost like more like lions, animals. So. Oh, lions! I mean, what was your experience about it? Like, have you got to see any like? Of course, you want to know. No, that I know. Never really. No. No. Oh, really? Oh, okay. Up close? Not really, you know. It's in the S. That's so cool, eh? That's so cool. No, not really. 
So I guess it was like really hard for you to like get used to like winter here, you know. It's like it's pretty hard for you, so it's not for you to see the snow, I guess. I was to leave there, it was like pretty hard for you, I mean. Like, huts, trees. Oh, in huts? Uh, I mean, how are you able to actually get to school or near? <laughs> in a house, like, mostly all my life, actually. Not really never in a hut, you know, like, houses. We have towns, and, uh, you know, we have buildings, too. <laughs> I mean, uh, yes, so, um, yeah. It was pretty, like, not savage, but, you know, it was not, like, necessarily the safest place, you know? Uh, 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 I've heard so much. Yes, uh, no, no, no. I'm so happy to finally meet somebody from there, you know? Cool. It's really have a beautiful day. Bye. Thank you so much for that. I mean, that was nice talking to you. Have yourself a beautiful day. Thank you again for that. Bye. Hello people, welcome back to my channel Salut les amis, bon retour sur ma chaîne Hello, bienvenue dans mon canal Konnichiwa, watashi no channel ni yokoso Oh yeah, definitely subscribe, it's full of adventure, full of fashion and full of like fun things as you saw on the first part of the video Definitely think it was a really different video for me I wanted to like take it as like really funny so what is it to be like black what is it to be african as like african girl I want you guys to like get to know me better and knowing me better is knowing me in all aspects funny goofy you name it i'm that type of person today i really wanted to just like show to you is my experience as an african girl in north america Canada and Montreal to be like more like specific and really short because it to be funny yet address something that I've been through <laughs> for a couple of years since I've been here. I've been here for like 10 years, 10 to 11 years now and believe me I've been through like some funny situations. It's not funny now but probably at the moment was not so funny. Like, you expected to have that kind of question. Especially when you live in a, such a modern country, if I could say. And believe me, all these situations that you've seen like in one of the video, it's the situations that I've actually like lived, that I've actually experienced, and it's nothing that I actually invented. Every type of question that, that was real questions that I was asked to. I think it's like funny right now when we see it, but I think that kind of an issue just because the kind of person I want to get to know people better, I want to get to know like culture better, when it's like different from mine, all about like discovering other cultures. So there's a way to ask questions and I'm not saying that everybody that's gonna ask that kind of questions trying to just like be mean towards me or towards my ethnicity or towards my continent or country or culture. I'm not gonna put everybody in the same basket. I don't know if I want to add more to it because I don't want it to be an issue because I'm not trying to offend anybody. Yes, it's okay to ask questions and it's okay to just not be so aware of whatever is going on on the other part of the world if you've never been there, that's for sure. Whenever I'm not I'm not sure about my background, get to on, on Google. It just try to like get as much information that I can before getting to that person and ask any questions because I just want to make sure that I don't want to make the person uncomfortable and I don't want to look stupid like I really 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 don't want to look stupid here it was all about just like showing you that I'm a person I'm African behind it I was debating between like doing like a story time or doing something like much more like of my personality goofy and stuff so it's a different type of video definitely and I'm probably gonna do more videos like that if you guys like it of course so definitely let me know in the description box below what you think about it what you thought about it what is your opinion on this if you're African like me let me know about your own experiences and if you're not, let me know about like your story. It's not necessarily like being a freak and a story. As human beings, we all have stories. We all have different stories. So I'm curious about to know your stories. Again, to show you 
what is my perspective on it? Say that you just have to be careful whenever you need to ask questions, whenever you need to get to know somebody better. And any people can take it differently, right? Because me, I take it the funny way, but I know some friends and I know some people, they're not gonna take it like that good. And like the kind of person that I'm like just assuming that if you ask a question, it's because you really want to genuinely know about me and genuinely know about my culture so yes it's gonna be really careful about it and just think that if you need to ask questions and if you're not sure google before take my tip because believe me I yeah, offend anybody of course it's not and it's definitely my experience I really hope you liked the video I didn't want to like ramble too much after it because I really wanted this video to be like as short and sweet as possible finish it off let's get back to the fashion part of it <laughs> I have my multi magazine that is uh, the multi magazine the May edition is really well it's been ready since the beginning of the month and I'm working on the June edition right now and it's gonna be available on the 5th of June instead of the first just because I noticed a lot of like little stuff but yeah definitely subscribe to my page if it's like available or not you're gonna have it straight to your email box like already it's gonna be a lot of things regarding like the weddings all the wedding season and we are looking for some inspirations some outfits me too because I have some weddings planned as well not me but going to the weddings you know <laughs> I'm ready for the June edition subscribe to my page if you want to see more uh, Instagram contest and it's all about being casual chic this week I have all the details on below so I'm not gonna say anything more and of course I have my make-a-wish service which is a magazine just for you you need to you kind of a lookbook just for you so anything that you need any request that you have it's gonna be in the lookbook that you're gonna like ask Again, all the details are going to be down below. Nothing more to say to it. First, I'm going to see you guys next week. And so then, great weekend, beautiful weekend with your friends, your family. And as I say all the time, smile because it's free. Bye. Merci les amis d'avoir regardé la vidéo, j'espère que vous avez adoré. Aujourd'hui c'est une vidéo vraiment différente de toutes les vidéos que j'ai dû faire auparavant parce que là j'essaye de montrer un petit peu plus mon côté drôle mais aussi tout en mettant en avant certaines problématiques dans notre société actuelle. Ah, je ne dis pas ça pour uh, mettre à mal qui que ce soit, c'est quelqu'un en particulier ou un pays en particulier ou une culture en particulier à part la mienne bien sûr. Ces questions je les ai vécues, je les vis encore et je le prends bien maintenant et c'est très drôle quand on en vient à y penser pour être honnête. Mais tout le monde n'est pas comme ça. Donc c'est très compliqué avant de dire ou faire quoi que ce soit. Et étant africaine, c'est sûr, j'ai eu toutes sortes de stéréotypes. C'est de la fille super belle pour une africaine. À la personne qui était surprise de me voir utiliser un téléphone, je n'exagère même pas. Pas être très... Faire attention à tout ça. Faire attention à tout ce côté stéréotype, étiquette qu'on veut mettre sur les gens. Ça peut être dangereux. Ça dépend de qui, à qui vous le dites aussi. Parce que l'axe qui ne va pas se prendre la tête sur des petites choses. Elle ne dit pas pour être méchante, elle ne dit pas pour euh, se foutre de ma gueule, si je peux dire ça. Mais tout le monde n'est pas comme moi, tout le monde ne le prend pas de la même manière. Vous ne voulez pas vous faire détester dès le début. Toujours d'aller sur Internet. Internet dit tout, Internet fait tout, Internet a tout. Mais la plupart des choses, pas bon. Laissez-moi savoir, c'est quoi votre histoire en tant qu'Africaine autre culture parce qu'il n'y a pas que l'Afrique <rire> qui a ce genre de stéréotypes. Donc, être on a tous des stéréotypes. Donc, euh, que ce soit des Européens, des Asiatiques, on a tous des stéréotypes sur d'autres cultures, dès que c'est pas la nôtre. Évidemment, je vais vous revoir la semaine prochaine. Super bon week-end, amusez-vous, profitez du soleil parce qu'on est en plein dans l'été. Donc, euh, profitez tant qu'il est là parce qu'il ne sera pas toujours là. <rire> Souriez parce que c'est gratuit. Bye.